today. At the IIF, you guys represent all the banks. The banks had a really tough day again today and are now off about 8% from the highs, mm -hmm. more than the overall market. What, what does that reflect to you? Well, it reflects uh, uncertainty. I mean, you have a, uh, you had what President Trump and the administration did uh, last week, coming on top of the uh, performance by the Fed, and then obviously the Chinese over the weekend decided that they were going to move their currency in a way that surprised a variety of people and suggested that a what some people thought maybe our trade war was heating back up again, it certainly appears that it definitely is. And so you have uncertainty now as to what exactly is going to happen going forward. And uncertainty is not good for uh, uh, markets or for economies. What do, what do you make, Clay, of what the Chinese are doing to their currency? Well, in some respects, there's just there's an economic story behind this or a market story, which is that it's not surprising to see a currency uh, depreciate somewhat in this in the when you have a trade shock. And so if you put tariffs on to a fairly significant amount of exports, which obviously the administration did, or at least is saying it will do on as of September 1, then it's, you could see a currency move based on that. But then at the same time, there's a political element to it, which is very different, which is that um, we saw tariffs go on earlier. The, the currency did not move that much. Um, and this was an action by the uh, People's Bank of China. And so it kind of suggested that it's not just an economic force here of a depreciation, but instead it is a depreciation that is going to be as a bit of a retaliation to the uh, administration putting on uh, tariffs onto China. So it's a little bit of economics, but it's also some polit politics. I mean, if you were still at the Treasury in the International Affairs Department, what would you be doing? How, how does the U.S. can the U.S. Treasury fight back? So it depends on how you would look at it. So there's a few things that you could do. I mean, the, the first thing is probably recommend do we need to stand down here? And I don't mean, uh, you know, the administration doesn't have to uh, reverse itself, but do we need to stand down so that we can actually get back to the negotiating table and try to get to the objectives that the administration has stated that it wants? And, by the way, that the Chinese government has stated that it wants, which is let's end the trade war, which is not good for almost anybody, and basically try to find a, a path forward. That said, that doesn't appear right now to be the trajectory we're on. So there are tools that you could see that the Trump administration should, could try to utilize to, to try to retaliate, counter-retaliate, retaliate on the counter-retaliate. It's a little hard to keep track because this is exactly what people have been predicting. A trade war is hard to, to, uh, to predict because escalation continues onward. And so there are some tools that could be used, but I, I think the most, the best tool would be to let's de-escalate the situation and get back to the negotiating table.